Oh, this is my favorite part right here. General Conference Secure Secure. It's like they they've labeled their own cones. That's what's so fantastic about this. Oh look, here's another one. GC Security. Good stuff. Hey there, Matthew here. I have just gotten back from the General Conference of Seventh Day Adventists in Silver Spring, Maryland. Had a lot of fun out there doing some research for the Adventist History Podcast and some other projects that I'm working on. Anyways, I went out there to shoot a little bit of video for you guys. Brought my camera, promptly forgot batteries, and decided not to just go buy a bunch of batteries there. So, I used my phone. I apologize for that in advance, but the phone's not so bad. Anyways, took a little tour of the building, showing you a little bit of what I was doing there. Hope you enjoy the tour. Let's go to the GC building, shall we? It is beautiful here though, isn't it? The infamous GC security van. Here we go. Uh-oh. Door's locked. Thank you very much. Good morning. All right. Whoa! That's my favorite part, though. I just enjoy doing this part. All right. Have a good day. What I love about this thing is, of course, first of all, it's fantastic work. But they're all looking for the second coming, right? These are people from all over the world, representing people from all over the world, and uh, an angel. But then, like, the second coming is so small. <laughs> Maybe because it's supposed to be far away and coming nearer? I'm not exactly sure. But it is a cool thing to greet when you walk into the building. Let's go this way. So here's, like, this main, I don't know what you call it. It's not exactly a lobby, like the commons? Let's call it the commons. And beautiful artwork. A lot of Nathan Green stuff here, obviously. Oh, by the way, cool fact. I am one of the angels in this painting. People ask me which one I am. I don't know exactly, but I really think I am this guy right here. <laughs> and probably a few others because when I went to go pose at the studio, they asked me to wear the gold chainmail thing and also to not wear it. And they gave me a trumpet and didn't give me a trumpet. And of course, he's uh, actually, I don't know if I had a trumpet or not, but he's more than capable of painting one in. So anyways, cool fact over here, of course, is the awesome auditorium where they hold annual council and stuff like that. Ooh, there you go. As seen on TV. And now we're gonna go back to the archives. Here we go. Art everywhere. It's like they're making up for every church not having enough art. Cafeteria is that way. It's closed. Hope Channel. Let's go into the basement. <laughs> and they publish a book or something on it, it tends to end up in here. So, obviously a lot of work has been done. <laughs> More Hello White stuff that way. Archives this way. And here's where I work. Let's get to work now. It has a label that matches with the big one. If it doesn't, it's 
Absolutely. I'm excited for my last day. I feel like in research years, it's been... A couple decades. A couple decades at least. You learn a lot about the archives the more you work with them. Yeah. I think that's true. If I would have known now what I knew... No. If I would have known then what I know now, it would have been 10% more efficient at least. Well, that just means you're being more efficient on the next trip. That's right. I'm going to have to come back. Do I get like a punch card? Where it's like your third visit is free. <laughs> no. oh, is there a rewards program at least? It's like the rewards program is that you are doing research and find new things to Okay. That's the reward. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. That's the it's the reward is knowledge. It's wisdom. I mean, Except that. Money. Money. <laughs> there is money. <laughs> All right, I'm back in LOA Alley, and it's time to give myself a tour. Here's a door. It doesn't open. Wait, does this other door open? This is just deception, pure deception at the general conference. Why did these doors not open? This makes no sense. Okay, here we have a timeline of Ellen White's life i guess yeah it's kind of cool also what is this are there escape pods at the general conference like if there's a problem do you just like hit a button over here somewhere like maybe you touch daniels face and then you get into a pod how does this work exactly anyways yeah the um timeline thing is pretty cool look she had a vision regarding the bicycle craze. And it looks like you have like the rest of Avenue's history down there. So pretty cool. Hey girl. Not doing too well on that picture. Here's one of her funerals. Pretty cool. Oh, huh. very cool. Here's the awesome gigantic painting that you see everywhere all the time <gasps> and look another vault i wonder if that's where we keep the real ellen white in cryogenic storage waiting for the technology to catch up so we can reanimate her and return her to us wait where's that in there in there in there Anyways, I try to figure out like, why does it end here? I mean, I like how they do a really good job of um, this being all of the people, a lot of the people here who, uh, like diverse groups of people, that's what I'm trying to say. Diverse groups of people all through here. And I think that's pretty awesome. I just feel like this guy's got like a secret that he's like wanting to tell these people over here, but he's like, you know, trying the best to keep it in and not let it out. This is the man, Kellogg, with his bicycle. How dare they flaunt Kellogg with this extravagance in front of us? I mean, come on. Bicycle, do you know how much those cost? Huh. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I dig this reconstruction, this model. Oh, uh, their home? This is so cool. You know what I think the secret to their marriage is? That they had separate bedrooms. Boom. I'm just kidding. For instance, I think these cast iron things are for mini footballs, which Ellen White made for tailgate parties. This is such a dope pulpit. You go, Ellen. How many sides does this have? One, two, three, eight, four, five. Oh, it's a hexagon. Wait. No, octagon. That was wrong. Look at this model of Socrates right here. Greek paganism. Paganism. All right, now that we're done at the Ellen White estate, let's go upstairs and see what trouble we can get in there. You just gotta follow the rules of the general conference and you're gonna be fine. For instance, Please open slow. That's what we're gonna do. Our elevator is here. 
So, upstairs, obviously, we got to go see Ted Wilson and Clifford Goldstein, and I think that's probably as far as we're going to get before security stops us. Let's go. There's an Elohim Visitor Center over here. Wait. Oh. I've been deceived. That's where we just were. I mean, it can't normally be like this, but it's just so dead. There's like nobody walking around. I mean, look at this space and you barely see anybody here. That's crazy. My favorite thing here is that AWR, like the radio thing is here. And the first thing you see is a TV. Well done. Where should we go next? We could go upstairs here, or we could go to Treasury over there and see if I can get a raise. Well, since they're vacuuming, let's just go upstairs. All right. Get a raise another time. <sighs> oh, stairs. Oh, here's where Andrew is. Where is everybody? Hello to Cassie. Hello to Adam. Hello to Cat and to Lava. My turn. Hmm. For more information, we're in the communication department now. My favorite thing about the studio is they just have sweet gear in there. The teleprompters, uh, the screens, the lights. I mean, so many lights up there, so cool. But the funny part is, <laughs> the cameras are A7S2s, right? They're like five years old or something. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. This is Cliff's office. Huh. Okay. huh. This is Christmassy. White Jesus. Okay, great. Okay. All right, all right. All right, where? Sabbath school. Which one of these is Sabbath School? Sabbath School Personal Ministries. It must be there. Okay. I'm here. But I don't know. <sighs> How to get there? Do I take a right or a left? Oh, actually, I think I need to go back the way I came. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. Huh. Oh, I know her and I like her. Here you're gonna see some wonderful editors all looking their meanest. I mean, seriously, Prescott, buddy. Oh, and with Bill Johnson is when the smiling begins. Yes, finally, we can smile in color. They're only in color because they are smiling. Okay, so, evidence review. Oh, look, like a little bookstore. That's cool. Check that out. So seriously, the creepiest thing here. Every single time I see this, I totally get weirded out. Just saying, guys. So it seems that they should be right here, somewhere. Maybe they're invisible. It's like an invisible Sabbath School department. Interesting. They have a reference library. So, this is pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna go up to the top floor and figure out uh, where the Sabbath School department went. Alright, uh, so many stairs. 
This is awesome. Guys, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Emergency evacuation device. What, what is going on here? I guess that's awesome. I'm kind of glad they have that. Here we go. Look at all those presidents. Bam. Sweet. And there's the man's office. And we have our Bibles turned to. I have no idea, actually. Maybe presidential closet. Oh, sweet. All right. We have the director of BRI. Nifty. I mean, I guess if you're gonna do battle, you need to have your own library. Oh, hey. We've been talking about this in our podcast a lot. Okay. Hey, Pavel. Oh, the former president. I didn't know he was still here. Very cool. All right, I think it's time to go. Oh, I'm gonna take the elevator this time. Okay. All right, back in the car now. So that's my exploration of the GC. I, I know it looks like I had a lot of fun walking around and I kind of did, although that was exhausting. Really, I was just there for research to go down into the archives, look a bunch of stuff up. And I did that, it was fun. I spent eight hours a day down there <laughs> looking through old letters and documents and books and stuff like that in order to learn and I did I learned a lot now I got to get back to my normal job pastoring and catch my flight to Peoria which takes off at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and I gotta drive like 45 minutes to DCI to catch it so that's gonna be a fun night yep we'll see you next time